Carey goes over to Che's new apartment. And Miranda's there. And there's just boxes of Ikea everywhere. Che has moved moved on up to a nice place. She's got an elevator now. No big deal. So do I. Um, so Che's got a nice apartment. And then says in the same scene, if my series gets picked up. Now, you might think, oh, I know what's going on. They're doing, they're doing that thing where they get a new apartment because they're so confident that the series is going to get picked up, that, you know, they're spending money they don't have and it's not going to get picked up. And then they're like, fuck, now I've got to go live in a studio apartment with a roommate I met on Craigslist. Why did I do that? That's not what's going to happen. Even if the show doesn't go, even if even if their pilot doesn't get picked up to series, that's not what's going to happen. It's just a lazy plot point of Che now has a fancy new apartment with really no sense of why they can suddenly afford it. Because, again, you don't get paid that much for a pilot that you can suddenly afford a new apartment. Like, let's say you get paid $100,000 to act in a pilot. Okay, that's a nice chunk of change. That could take some people one whole year to make, but you're paying agent, lawyer, manager, and taxes. So you get 50% of that. Now you get 50000 Now you're living in an apartment that's, what, five, $6,000 a month rent, first and last, security, furniture. That lasts, like, that. you don't even have a year in that place before you run out of money. So it's, you know what I mean? It's just not... There's not a world where anything that's happened has given Che this this money. But whatever. I don't mind if they move into a new place. Who cares? Maybe they their Netflix special did well. I don't know. Um, but then, okay, so Oliver Hudson, who lives in L.A., okay, but he has a truck. So he drove Che from L.A. to New York. Why? No reason. Che didn't live in L.A. Che lived in Hudson Yards in New York. Che's moving apartments, you know, a mile away from each other in New York. But he, her husband, that she never divorced, that they didn't address either in this episode. Miranda didn't even say anything sarcastic. Like, hey, when are you guys getting divorced? I'm getting divorced. Nothing. It's like no big deal. This is absurd. You guys, this is absurd. I feel like I'm watching something that, like, the community mental institution players put together. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to criticize this show. Everyone that wrote it is currently suffering in a mental institution. Okay, so. Oliver Hudson, here's the logic. 